Hi there. Wow, okay. Could I get you to maybe take it down a notch? I'm right here. Well, you're talking to one now, champ. <laughs> My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. Oh, thanks. No, that's great. I have a weird name. Look, dude. Are you gonna be alright? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. Just, you just... Yeah, that's what I thought. I could see how uncomfortable you are right now from space. Hmm, wait. You know what? This might actually work. Yeah. Yeah! Oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy! Listen, I gotta go. But we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Hey you, rise and shine, we've got work to do! I said, get up! <laughs> I bet you were. Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar! Why are they always confused? If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. Good question, I'm glad you asked. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just... Mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are... Basically walking babe magnets now. You, though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. <laughs> no, but seriously. We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit, we're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. Alright, I'll try to make this click. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. See? Easy! Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones.
sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh, right! Let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful! The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, all right, I've gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honey Bee 4.0. The Honey Bee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. 
You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome! We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or, if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. <laughs> go ahead, break that bad boy open. Okay, great! I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. I said, let's go talk to some broads. I said, let's go talk to some broads. That's what I like to hear. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Good choice, rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. Alright, ready? Get your game face on. needs to learn. Ooh, she's a little feisty one, huh? Oh yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist! <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sidelines. <laughs> this is what we refer to as a mega bitch. Confidence is key. She has to know you're in charge, and her bullshit isn't going to phase you. So whatever you do, just stay cool. Uh, could you move, please? You're kind of in my way. Uh, ew. What are you even doing at the mall anyway? Besides creeping on girls. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Sorry. But you did put an effort, I guess. And you are kind of cute. I'll tell you what. If you're lucky, maybe we can go get high sometime. You down? Audrey, get at me if you want to make things crazy. Now, if you don't mind, could you get the fuck out of my way? No way! You did it! Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago... Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. 
I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get him. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. Day, Tiffany. Yeah, my English lit class was canceled. I'm trying to make good use of the time. Hey, listen. Thanks so much for watching Philip the other day. I know it was last minute. No, don't. An angel? Are you sure you were watching the right kid? <laughs> <laughs> I know I still owe you two, so don't worry. I should be getting my paycheck tomorrow. I won't hear of it. I was more than happy to help out. Nonsense. I'm not taking no for an answer. Too late. <laughs> Have a good workout. Hey, get back here. This isn't over. Man, will you get a load of these two? I'd to have tits like that. This chick is clearly out of your league, but there may be hope. She's probably looking for a decent guy because of that baby mama drama. So just try not to be an ass for like five minutes. Oh, she's looking over this way. Showtime. Hey, are you finished with that machine? I have one set left to jam out. It worked. You look wicked cool. <laughs> Thanks, I try. You must be new here. I don't think we've met before, right? I like to think I know all the regulars here on a first name basis. You could say I'm a little obsessed with this place, I guess. <laughs> My name's Kiana. Will I be seeing you here more often? they do here. The instructor is awesome. I think you'd dig it. If you like being in a room with a bunch of sweaty girls, that is. <laughs>
curious. Do you exercise a lot, or are you a major couch potato? I'm surprised to hear you say that. Did you want to say something? Oh, yeah, that would be good to know, huh? I'm 21. Okay, have a super awesome day. Oh god, this guy? If you're gonna ask, just ask.
question for you. So, what kind of shit are you on? Can I tell you a secret? I'm high right now. <laughs> Okay, I want to know something. What kind of people you just fucking hate to even look at? Ugh, I know! Even my friends can be so plastic sometimes. to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. Whoa, is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? She's cute, though. Blonde, too, so, uh, bonus points. This is your classic girl-next-door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. cute. But thanks for the compliment. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? Of course. This place is awesome. My professors are the best. beautiful campus, too. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully I'll see you around campus. I want to ask you something. What's your idea of, like, the perfect date? Such a liar!
cheerleading. I've never missed a practice. out if I don't get something to eat. I'll see you later. Uh, good morning, Aiko. Oh, hey, Belly. What's wrong? Seems like something's bothering you. Yeah, a lie. <laughs> How are classes going? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Mm, well, I think I have just the thing. I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses. You should join me. Nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away. Uh, not today. I'm just not feeling it. Will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio? I'll be there. I don't think I have anything else going on for once. Great! Can't wait! See you there! Dude! Bro! Asian chicks? Don't even get me started! I have like the worst case of yellow fever ever! Ever! Like a yellow plague! This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what! The stupider, the better. <laughs> I ask myself the same thing all the time. Well, mission accomplished. Good work. I'm just trying to relax. Enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know the place? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. I don't know about that. I have a couple students who might agree with you, though. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll forget anyway, but it's November 9th. Give me your honest answer. What's the craziest place you haven't done it, but would like to? Oh, 
shit. That would be pretty hot. Something I can help you with? Why 21, of course. Nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm 28. Something to eat first? Yep, take care. Are you serious? Oh, come on, just try it on. It's going to look so cute. Try what on? There's nothing here. Come on! I saw it and I immediately thought of you. You're going to love it. I promise. Oh my... <sighs> Alright, just make sure nobody else is around. Yeah, sure. The coast is clear. <laughs> You're good. Jess, I can't wear this! What are you talking about? You look cute. Cute? Oh, stop. There's nothing wrong with a little skin. You can't keep all that boob to yourself, hun. It's not fair to the rest of the world. The world will be just fine without my... boobs. Yeah, but I won't. Besides, it wasn't cheap. So, you're stuck with it. So come on, let's go. I am not going anywhere in this. I'm changing back. Ugh. You are impossible. Enjoying the view? Quick, now's your chance. Before she goes to change, just say something, anything! stupid thing on. Sorry. One second. Let me go change. Really? No. You think so? I don't know. It's a little revealing. Don't you think? I don't want people to think I'm like that, you know? saying you like it. Oh, and hi. The person inside of the bikini you're talking to? Her name is Belly. It's the color of my favorite flower, the lilac. 
I have a question for you. Take your time answering. What does your morning routine look like? I suppose I can't argue with that. Until next time! Hey, Lola. Aw, oh, you bitch. You didn't tell me you were back in town. Hey, lover. Just got in a couple days ago. Missed you. Excuses. You know you're supposed to check in with me as soon as you hit the ground. <laughs> of course. What was I thinking? I'm sorry, honey. Won't happen again. That's more like it. How have you been, my darling? Staying out of trouble? Well, I try, but trouble has a hard time staying out of me. <laughs> so I take it work is good? Never better, but enough about me. What's going on, girl? Any new mischief to share? Ugh, where do I start? Hold that thought. Have a seat. I'm gonna go grab you a drink. I wanna hear all about it. Uh, I'd love to. But... Yeah, I've got an early day tomorrow. I just stopped in for a second. Ugh, come on. You're not going to make me sit here and drink all by myself, are you? Rain check. I'll call you later this week. Girls' night out all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here already. Love you, baby. Ooh, milk alert. Looks like a total cougar, too. I don't think you realize the gravity of the situation here. This is what separates the men from the boys. You've got to be aggressive. That nice guy shit isn't gonna cut it. How much you got? <laughs> I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting you. The cute ones are always hiding. Hun, do me a favor and help me out with my empty glass. Pretty please. Oh, I can make it worth your while, sweetie. Trust me. Only one way to find out, huh? You haven't even asked my name yet. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know. Most gentlemen your age know me as Misty, but you can call me Jessie. You should feel honored. I only share that secret with people I like. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to know about me? I was born on the 27th of January. You can ask me anything you like. I think orange is pretty cute, so I'll go with that. Something you need from me, sweetie? My main hobby. Hmm. Does getting drunk count? <laughs> Thank you. 
Bye bye, sweetie. Excuse me, miss? Yeah? I've been here for a while now. I'm still waiting to be helped. Oh, yeah. So my shift just ended? I'm pretty much out the door already. Um, I think someone else should be in any minute. I'm just looking to get a cappuccino. It only takes a second. I mean, it's more than a second, so... Are you serious? I should have left over 15 minutes ago, okay? I'm done. Wow, okay. Mmm, mmm, I love me some chocolate. I'll have a tall glass of whatever she's serving. Know what I'm saying? Let's see. Considering what just went down, she's probably a little pissed off. Try to get on her good side. Open with something safe, like something she probably wants to hear. I know, right? It's ridiculous. I mean, really, is a cup of coffee so much to ask? So sorry to inconvenience you. Have you been waiting here long too? <laughs> is that the case? I'm glad I could be of service. I have to give you credit though, that's pretty brave. You don't hear that often enough. Is that your technique? Hitting on girls at the coffee shop? Oh jeez, really? Alright, you're good. I'll tell you what, Big Shot. You caught me in a good mood. I normally don't give in so easily, so consider yourself lucky. My name is Lola. Pleasure. If I can get my cap sometime in the next year, maybe we can sit down. I want to hear more about how attractive I am. ask you a question? What do you think is the most important trait to have in a girlfriend? Well, you're in luck. I think that defines me fairly well. You know what I'm kind of curious about? Would you consider yourself an outdoorsy type? I could not agree with you more. I need my sun and fresh air. Mind if I ask you a question? What's your biggest goal in life? Hmm, that's a good answer. Can I steal that from you? Take care of yourself. Ugh, Audrey, can we leave now? Come down, Nick. We just got here. Just got here? We've been here for at least an hour. Don't be such a downer. Loosen up a little. I'll buy you a drink. What do you want? I don't want anything. I'm not even old enough to drink. <laughs> they don't care. Okay. Oh my god. Why? 
Why do you do this every fucking time? Can't you just like chill out for once? I don't know. Have fun? This isn't fun. Everybody here is a complete douchebag. I told you I didn't want to come here and you dragged me anyway. Just like last time. Because you can't just sit in your room all day! I mean, the fucking exist or something! I don't sit in my room all day. Whatever! Go! Leave! Bye! Aw, oh, shit! I was afraid we might run into one of these. Doesn't look like she's a big fan of people. But... Your weirdness might actually pay off here. Hmm. I never thought I'd say this to you, but... Just be yourself? No shit. What gave it away? Okay, so why are you here exactly? Sorry, but can you leave me alone? There's plenty of other girls here for you to talk to. Well, I'd rather you didn't, so good night. Don't beat yourself up over it. She was a lost cause to begin with. Plenty of fish in the sea. Let's see, how about... Wait, is she coming back over here? This ought to be interesting. Um, hey, you know what? It's Nikki. My name. Maybe I was a little bit quick to judge. Force of habit. I'm normally not the type of girl that, like, talks to people, or whatever. But I guess you can keep me company until my friend is ready to go. This is kind of a stupid question, but I guess I'll ask it anyway. How long do you usually make a girl wait after getting her number? See, that's how it should be done. Instead of all this bullshit game playing. What's on your mind? I'm not going to college. Going through high school was enough bullshit for me. Anything you want to talk about? <sighs> I'm only five feet tall. I'm like the shortest person I know.
hungry. Like starving. Night. 